I'm Cheryl Waters. Thanks so much for tuning in to the Midday Show on KEXP 90.3 FM in Seattle. Online around the world at KEXP.org. And delighted to have our good friends Reptar live in studio today. Welcome. Yay. Hey, everybody. Hey, friends. <laughs> hey, Seattle. Seems like I just Radio saw Radio. you. I know. It seems like just yesterday. Well, welcome back. And I want to thank you so much for performing at our mural concert series uh, last month. Or no, just, are we it just it last so month? so pretty. We got to have the mayor of Seattle introduce us. That's, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Not too shabby. I wonder if he'll be out at Numo's tonight uh, to introduce you for the show. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I want I want to prank him. He would, <laughs> actually, coincidentally, he was just in uh, the station this morning, uh, live on the air with John, our morning show host. So, in some ways, he's introduced you today as well. What's his name? Mike, Mike McGinn. Mike, Mike, if you're out there, come on out. Come out to Numo's tonight. Put you on the list. Put you on the guest list. Give you the key to the city. You bring the key, we'll put you on the list. All righty. It's Reptar live in studio. Want to kick it off with a couple of songs? Yes. Awesome. This first song is called Thank You, Glees at 370B. <laughs> Thank you. 
favorite star Sounded great. Always a fantastic live band. I would go so far as to say not to be missed live if you want to shake the cobwebs out tonight. Numos is the place to be. It's Reptar live on KEXP. Wow, guys, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you. I hope you've still got something left for tonight. <laughs> you're giving it your all. And I know you're playing tonight at Numos with Icky Blossoms and a band called Rubble Bucket. And when we talked last month, you couldn't say enough about that band. You want to... Yeah, Tell me Rebel a bit Bucket about them. is incredible. Um, they are just one of those. It's a really special group of musicians. They're all like hyper talented, <laughs> so it's cool for us, I think, because we get to learn a lot from <laughs> being on tour with them. How fun! Some of their skills rub up on us. Yeah. <laughs> 
And um, your new album, Body Faucet, since we last saw you here live in studio, of course, I saw you performing that live last month again at the mural show at Seattle Center, which was incredible on a beautiful day. But tell me a little bit about the new album. Well, it's been out for a second. Um, it's been, I don't, I don't no. <laughs> it's, it's got 12 songs on it. I mean, we try to make all 12 of those songs as, as different as possible and as unique an experience as possible. Um, it's, uh, it's got a lot of different kinds of energies, but it definitely all has a lot of energy. So um, if, you like, if you like music that gives you energy, then... <laughs> if, if you like music, album, you'll love it. If you like it. music, you're going like <laughs> to love our band. You're going to love our band. <laughs> <laughs> Your shows you like are music bands, you're going to love this one. <laughs> Your shows are so upbeat and exuberant, and it makes me wonder, are the themes or what you're singing about, is that all... Uh, Flowers and sunshine as well? It's definitely not flowers and sunshine. I think that one thing that's always been really fun about this band is like, for the, all the songs are really personal, and a lot of them are about like really dark times in people's lives. Like, one, the last track on the record, Water Runs, was written like after I got out of the hospital and I had had this crazy traumatic experience that it ended me up in the hospital, and I had like this really, it was like really cathartic to be able to play that song with like my closest friends in the band and be able to kind of have that be shared experience between us. But it also, I think, it makes the energy a little bit more intense, like, for to play live, too. Well, and your just, shows, while exuberant, are definitely very yeah. intense, and they get the people moving for sure. Yeah. Um, you're playing tonight at Numo's, and then what's up on deck for the rest of this year and into next year for you guys? Ooh, we got then we got this tour of the Rubble Bucket that's going to go on through November. And then we're working on recording some some material uh, in there in October. And then I'm not sure. We haven't really figured out our touring schedule for the next year. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> Trying to take yeah. it a couple months at a time. Yeah. 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 Probably taking like a little, taking, you know, a second to catch our breath. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to go in and record some songs, I think, in October and start working on some. Including the one recordings. that we just played. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's a new song, the last one we just played. Yeah, that So we're going to try and maybe finish enough stuff for like an EP or something. I don't yeah. know. We don't have any specific plans. Well, I won't hold you to anything, but loved hearing <laughs> that last song. That one had me up off my seat practically. Tonight, Reptar plays at Numo's, and you got a couple more songs? Absolutely. Yep. This next one is called Sweet Sipping Soda.
Yowza. <laughs> <laughs> This next song is called House with Babies.
Reptar's playing tonight at Numo's here in Seattle, the new album, Body Faucet. Thank you so much. That was an incredible set. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having us. You, Always KSV. wonderful to yeah. see you. Love you all. Love Good. you all. Aww. You're listening to KEXP Seattle. That was incredible. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much.